welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie, if you saw the title of today's video. Is Shaitoshi teasing that we are getting a big, huge listing soon? Or are we going to actually see Shiba Inu literally on the moon? What is happening? What is going on? We're going to jump in and dive into all of that and uh, see. By the way, guys, can you hear that? I'm realizing, so I live in Oklahoma, and Saturday, every time without fail at noon, even on a holiday, it is a holiday today, they are out there and they are blasting for like one minute, they will blast the tornado sirens, and I didn't realize that was happening. I think it literally started as I started. So if you hear a little bit of a high pitch, it's going to go away in a minute. Forgive me. The tornadoes don't play around here, so it is, you guys probably can't hear it as well as I can, but it's super loud everywhere you go. And I'm from Kansas City, we get tornadoes there, but... Not like Oklahoma. Oklahoma is a whole different tornado ball game. <clears throat> but let's talk Shaitoshi. So what is going on? Shaitoshi put out some really interesting tweets recently. And we know, guys, a lot of these people, these CEOs, these corporations, these heads of company, like I've been talking to you guys about, they will do lots of teasing before they do something. And Shaitoshi is no different. Shaitoshi uses his Twitter all the time to tease us with stuff. And look, there's no complaint here. I'm not knocking him. More power to him. Give us those hints. Give them to people like me so I can see what's going on between the lines. But I'm looking at these hints that he's leaving and I'm seeing some really big things and I'm thinking, okay, this means nothing but bullish sentiment for Shiba Inu. Shaitoshi is doing hints. We have leaks directly from Robinhood executive insiders telling us what's coming up with Robinhood and what's going on with that listing. And now we have Shaitoshi starting to tease. On top of that, we have whales. Whales keep buying in mass. They will not stop buying Shiba Inu. What do all of these people know that we don't? Whales are buying for a reason. Shaitoshi is doing what he's doing on his Twitter and leaving hints for a reason. What are those hints and what does that mean for our money and where it's going? Let's get on my computer. Let's jump in and find out. But before we do, guys, I'm giving away a $100 gift card. And it's really simple. To be entered and eligible, win to my money. This is all you have to do. Like the video, subscribe, hit notifications, comment, share the content, watch a video from start to finish. Boom. You're entered. You're eligible. That's all you have to do. Guys, do it for every single video you see because the more likes, the more comments, the more shares, the more times you watch from start to finish, the more chances you have of winning my money the more times you are entered. Guys, I'll announce one winner on Sunday, and my channel is a baby channel. It's still very, very small, so make sure you get in and do this because you have a good shot at winning right now. Good luck. The more this channel grows, guys, and it is growing, I'm almost at 16,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful and appreciative. That's almost a 5,000 gain in like six weeks. Thank you guys so much. I'm so grateful. But as the channel grows, it's going to be harder to win, but I will try to get more gift cards as I do better because my job here is to give back to you guys. If I'm going to spend money on marketing and advertising, you better believe it's going into your pockets, just like you've spent time and energy for me to build this. Thank you. I love you and appreciate you all. Let's jump on and let's see exactly what hints I'm talking about. What is Shaitoshi doing? So we look at Shaitoshi's Twitter. <clears throat> this was the first one. And guys, I remember kind of cocking my head a little bit going, huh? But I would have not made a video on just this. But this is what it is. You have Shaitoshi who retweeted somebody, Matt Wallace, who says, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu to the moon, and then Doge and Shib. And you have that guy, I gotta remember his name, sounded off in the comments, what did his name? He's the guy in the movie. The Princess Bride. Princess Bride? That guy, it's him doing the blinking like, huh? What is this, right? Excuse me? I love that meme. So there's that, and it says to the moon. Well, a lot of people do that. My comments are full of to the moon, which I love, right? And the rocket ships, because we want the price to grow up. We want to make money, right? So you might look at this and you might go, Katie, that's not that big a deal. Like, why are you making a whole video on this? This is not newsworthy. But then we see this. So then the teaser goes to, it looks like an emoji with like the head exploding. And it says, the day is getting closer. Lamborghini to the moon. And then hashtag, you can see it looks like that's moon-ish terrain. And it says, to the moon. What does that mean? So again, like I've said before, you guys have heard me say this on repeat. These heads of companies, these people who are running the social media accounts, unless you're Elon Musk, they are not just randomly tweeting. And I'm not saying everything Elon does is random. I hope that's obvious. I'm not trying to say that. But when you look at it and... And there's not one, but two 
Typically, that means something, especially as we know, as I've talked about, we've been on this whole Doge Bonk thing. We're Doge Bonk. I just love Doge Bonk. Doge Bonk beat everybody to space in the funniest way, just in a weather balloon, just a makeshift knapsack dog. It's the funniest thing you've ever seen. So I'm kind of wondering if we're going to be having some uh, meme coin space wars, so to speak. But what does this mean? This has to mean something. Okay, but here's the other thing. So y'all know your girl. Your girl is on it. So I was like, okay, what is going on with Lamborghini and NASA? And I looked and I looked and I looked. And I will be honest, I can't find anything. And here's the other thing. I don't think we've been going to the moon for a while, have we? Like, guys, I'm a huge History Channel buff. It's hard to call it the History Channel. I feel like a lot more now it's more history speculation, but I love it. I love it. I am all without the ancient aliens. Who's the dude? Tezukios? Tezukalos? I can never say his last name. I call him Hair. He's the one that, uh, he always, um, they always feature him and he's always wearing just head to toe khaki. Like he is really trying to Indiana Jones this. I always like think of him. I know this is a side note, but I love this show. I always think of him as like, they're in their like marketing and PR meetings and they're like, and they're like, we need more khaki. Hair needs to be bigger and higher. And I always just laugh at like, what might be going on behind the scenes. I say that with love. I love this show. These people are my, my rock stars, okay? So I love him. Did you guys know he was a bodybuilder when he was younger? Like, what a crazy, interesting dude. He's just a crazy, interesting... And then there's Childress, his, his friend, that's, that, that, and he, he... Every time he has this accent, it's not... It feels like it's not really a discernible accent to me. It's more like he's been in academia for way too long. And I say that with love because he's incredibly smart. But he'll be talking about, like, Machu Picchu or someplace, and he'll go, the wrong some rocks and, rock, and I just die and it's not making fun of these people just have little personality quirks and I appreciate and love them so much anyway so I know a little bit about the moon only in that my favorite this is going to get really out there my favorite ancient aliens episode is all about how the moon may not be real and maybe it's a big satellite I am not telling you this is the case I have no evidence for this but I love, like, my soul gets so excited. My soul gets off. I get off from all these fun theories. I get so excited. I love this stuff. And nobody else ever does. I'm always alone in all the weird, odd things I like, right? So anyway, I know a little bit about the moon. And as far as I can tell, we haven't really been effing with the moon too much. Um, rumor has it that Armstrong and crew got up there and uh, there were ETs there. They were like, bees, we don't want you. These aren't nice. Get back here. By the way, have you guys ever seen... I know, a really weird tangent. It's just, it's kind of weird. But have you guys ever seen the interview when they came back, when they were supposed to come back from space and how depressed they looked? Now look, if I were to spend that much time in space and maybe run into aliens and maybe have a confrontation, I might not be that happy either. I'm not trying to judge any of them. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, there's just a lot of weird stuff. A lot of weird stuff going on with space. And I love every single bit of the theories I see on Ancient Aliens in the History Channel. Also, The Curse of Oak Island is so my jam. I love The Curse of Oak Island. Anyway, okay, so with all that being said, I don't even think we're going to the moon much. Because wouldn't that be the next thing? If Dogebon went to space, then we gotta put something on the moon or somewhere, right? So Lamborghini, I was like, okay, is, is the Lamborghini, is there some weird thing I don't know about where they're like gonna be making a vehicle for the moon or something and, and whatever? And maybe Shiba Inu is going to be sponsored on that. Well, obviously with the sponsorship, that's it, if that were, by the way, I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just sitting here racking my brain as I'm researching going, okay, let's look at every weird angle because I can't find anything, right? Couldn't find anything. So, and I'm not saying something isn't happening, right? I just don't, I'm saying I don't know from everything that I've seen. But the fact that there are two of these now leads me to question, we're being breadcrumbed. We are being breadcrumbed here, but the question is, what are we being breadcrumbed about? The question is, what is this? What are we encountering right now when it comes to Satoshi? What is he trying to tell us? And I'm just really wondering if this is going to turn into a meme space wars of advertisement and promotion. I got to tell you, though, it would be kind of epic if it did, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be kind of epic if that were the case, that everybody was racing to space to, uh, to try to promote and shill their coins? Like, I have mixed emotions about that. But then again, let's look at the flip side. To the moon is a very, very common phrase in cryptocurrency. We know that, right? To the moon! People always say that when it, about their coin. Look at my comment section. It's full of to the moon with Shiba or whatever your favorite coin is. More power to you. Not knocking you. I'm just saying that's a common phrase. Is this just, they're kind of using common phrases right now. Is this just fun little memes for no reason? 
I'm going to call it. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think there's something more and I'm excited to see what it is. And I will keep you guys up to date if you want me to, because I know people get irritated. You're just, oh, you're speculation. I wear his back on. Well, that's fine. You have to watch. It's so funny when people get mad. It's like, you're not making the free things I want. And I'm like, it's free. I would understand if you were paying for this, but you're not. It's free. So go watch something else that's free. Um, it, you know, there's a, there's a whole psychology surrounding marketing and sales and PR about people and the fact that like you can't make your products or you can't give too much away because then people will just devalue it in their heads and feel entitled to it. People are very strange. Lots of psychology going on there. But anyways, my point is, I think we got something really interesting coming up and I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that we're going to have some, some space meme wars going on for ads and PR? Do you th like, what do you think this is? Do you think that I've just lost my mind and gone too far and I've watched way too much History Channel? Sound off in the comments. I want to hear everything you guys have to say about this. I truly do. And uh, I think I'll just, this video has been too long and too weird. I think I'm going to end it here. Okay, guys, take care. I love you guys so much. You guys are my favorite people on the planet. I really do. If you guys didn't see my Christmas videos, I put up a video where I gave a big, like, it was like a 38 minute video. I know it's long, but I gave you guys a big update on everything going on. And I want you to know when I tell you guys how much I love you and appreciate you, I mean it from the top, the bottom, and the whole of my heart. You guys have given me new life. You guys have allowed me to have a life in my situation. And I am always dedicated to helping all of you and me and all of us get our best and highest health and best and highest wealth. Why is that? We deserve it. Simply because we exist, we are free sovereign beings. That's my opinion. Okay, guys. Um, also, if you want to support this channel, it's really simple. You can support this channel and even possibly win my money. And it's free. Again, free content. Free to enter. All you have to do, like, subscribe, hit notifications, comment, share the content. I can't even remember what I say right now. Boom, you're entered, you're eligible. That's all you have to do. Make sure and do it for every video you see. The more likes, the more comments, the more shares, the more times you watch from start to finish, the more chances you have of what? Winning my money. More chances because you get entered. I'm a baby channel. Y'all know I'm a little, little baby. And uh, my channel's small. You have still a really good shot of winning, so everybody good luck. Okay, to the moon, to the Mars, to the space, to the the. Why am I putting the the? I sound like a boomer. Hi, boomers. Hi, I love my boomer audience. The the. We always put, boomers always put the, it, the Facebook. There's always a the in something. So I just, uh, I've just done my boomer in for the day. I love my boomers. I love my millennials. I love my Gen Xers. I love my everyones. And uh, I love our meme coins. And I love you guys. All right. Take care. I'm giving you guys lots of love, lots of blessings. I'm giving everybody hugs, kisses, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.